When measuring thoracic rotation, it's important that the person is sitting on a chair or table with that chair or table against their back of their knees. This helps avoid any compensations that may occur throughout their spine and their pelvic complex that may change our final range of motion. We also want to make sure that they're sitting in their natural postural position, not trying to extend their spine or correct any postural imbalances that might be there. And looking at thoracic rotation, we're going to use our two anatomical landmarks of that C7-T1 interspace and that T12-L1 interspace on their spine. We're also going to use the short side of the halo base. Now remember, there's two different widths of these prongs, and you want to use the, the width, the side that's most appropriate for the person that you're measuring. We're going to have them place their arms across their chest. In this position, we're going to have them rotate slowly, keeping their eyes open, letting their head follow their rotation as far as they can go comfortably without compensating side bending or twisting. We're going to place the prongs against that C7, T1 interspace, collect our zero, move it down to the T12, L1 interspace, and lock in our measurement. 